Hank Green just posted a video um, about, he says, uh, I don't believe that uh, people, and he says, you know, he, he's not saying it's a fact, it's just his, you know, internal belief that, you know, he doesn't believe people that actually believe uh, climate change isn't real. And then he goes on and he, he's talking about that and he, then he gets into global warming, which... Two different things, no? Um, let me throw in my, um, my view, which uh, th this is not um, trying to counter what uh, Hank said. I didn't finish watching his video, so this is not a debunk of his. I actually would hope if somebody is a fan of Hank Green, if they'd send him this video, um, I'd actually like to see what he has to say, whether he wants to just leave a comment or um, even respond in a video or whatever. Uh, again, my, my channel's not monetized. Um, I'm not trying to get clout or blow up uh, from, you know, this or whatever. Uh, I'm not doing a certain country, but here it goes. Um, climate change is absolutely real and, but he's going to disagree when I get to global warming. Um, but not, I don't know for any of the reasons that he would have cited in this video. Uh, if you look at the moors in England, that was because Neolithic people cut down all the trees and started farming. And then you had a shift in civilization towards, you know, uh, when the Indo-Europeans came in and they had like city-states and then, you know, um, the Celts and then the Romans and then the collapse with the invasions of the Anglo-Saxons. And the Moors are now a grassland type area that people think is natural. It's been there for about, what, 4,000 years, but it's not. It was created by humans. Uh, I live in um, Chicago. I used to live beyond the Chicagoland area. And beyond the Chicagoland area is endless fields of soy and corn with no other plants growing. And in the winter, it looks like the surface of the moon. That, the, that has completely changed the, 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 uh, the flora and fauna. The prairie grasses that are native here were needed. And um, I mean, they, they sunk the roots 12 feet deep. And then if you go into the suburbs, you have all these lawns that are manicured where poison and herbicide and fertilizer is put down. And whenever the grass is cut, uh, they bag it up and, you know, bring it to whatever it is, uh, wherever they don't leave it on the ground they rake up leaves put it in bags bring them away so there's no there's no more biomass getting into the soil to regenerate it so man is bringing about desertification of this area sucking up the nutrients basically turning the soil into garbage and it may take another two three hundred years but it's going to happen there's going to be a huge collapse in farmland across the united states <coughs> And not to mention all the invasive species we've brought in, like kudzu, um, the various trees that are Eurasian. Um, the getting rid of native plants and calling them weeds. And then even with animals like pigs, uh, which go feral very quick, and pythons and stuff like that. Uh, <coughs> but uh, moving on to the past, uh, one of the theories um, when I was uh, studying history, so this was 20 years ago, and I think it was in... A fairly old idea then. It was came up with, I believe, in the 70s or 60s, that part of the collapse, of, part of the reason for the collapse of the Roman Empire was the, sh the shift in the uh, winds. And because North Africa was the breadbasket of the Roman Empire. It was places like Libya. And we know that <clears throat> just the last 10,000 years, the Sahara Desert, the largest desert on Earth, was a very lush uh, lakeland savanna with grassland and trees and huge lakes and Lake Megachad. Um, and even 4,000 years ago, it was still 
uh, you know, not like it is today. It was, you know, the, the desert was crouching in, but it was about half the size. And I don't know if people understand how, how uh, quick that is. Uh, writing is what, only about 6,000 years old in its oldest forms, or man, I'm thinking of civilization, right? Um, what, writing is only maybe about, yeah, probably about 4,500 years old, um, possibly 6,000 years old. Gobekli Gobe Tepe, however you pronounce it, uh, was constructed. The time that that was constructed, the Sahara Desert was not a desert. Where I'm standing, only 10,000 10, years ago, there would have been three miles of ice. I would have been under three miles of ice right now. Uh, the fact that we built all these dams and everything is the delta is changing. The, the Mississippi River is running too fast. And uh, the southwest of, of America uh, would vastly benefit by the reintroduction of the camel. Because uh, just like the avocado would have gone extinct or eventually gone extinct had not humans appeared after grand slots di disappeared, uh, the reintroduction of the camel would probably save a lot of these uh species like the uh, certain cactus and the Joshua tree from going extinct. That's probably the answer. So I don't know why they don't release camels in to the Southwest um, because losing seed spreading animals causes climate change. Now, as for the earth getting colder or warmer, I would like to hear somebody say that we need to stop climate change. Climate change is bad. And that there, there was a point in time when the earth was not warming or cooling <laughs> because the earth is either warming or cooling. It doesn't, there's, there's never really been a stasis of, you know, <laughs> you know, not warming or cooling. The only time that actually probably happened was when there were no polar caps. Um, I mean, if we, if we want climate change to stop, just, uh, fill in the land between Argentina and, and uh, Antarctica and, uh, stop the, uh, that Southern polar current and get the ice caps would be done. Uh, majority, of, majority of Earth's history, um, with exception of two snowball Earths that existed before complex life, uh, there were basically no ice caps for like well over 99.99% of the time. <clears throat> now, um, what's better for humanity and animals? Uh, global warming or global cooling? We know that a warming event happened and, uh, that was a great thing. And then the, the younger Dryas happened <clears throat> and, uh, Bam, that was probably part of the reason that a lot of the megafauna was gone, why horses and camels and ground sloths and uh, woolly mammoths and mastodons and saber-toothed tigers and uh, the American cheetah, the American lion, the, uh, all of those animals, short-faced bear, I said, went extinct. Now, it's probably also humans played a role in that, but uh, there have been many ice ages in the past, and it was devastating for humans. The warming periods in the past, however, saw a boom of population in the medieval warming period for one one case uh one example although that did unleash the vikings <laughs> upon the european continent as well as them raiding the islamic world going as far as baghdad um but yeah if you have a choice between the globe getting hotter or colder we should probably pick hotter and is it going at a drastic rate an uncontrollable rate <clears throat> and uh more importantly does anyone have an answer for it and an answer may be saying to slow it down, but not to reverse it. Because again, um, the, earth gets, the earth has gone through massive shifts of warming and cooling. Um, the warmer it gets, then, uh, I mean, Iceland seeing extraction of minerals like they've never seen before. And growing seasons in, uh, in uh, Canada get longer. Uh, same thing with Russia. There's, not, there's a point where you get so far north, you can't farm or really do anything. Except basically extract harmful stuff from the earth, like oil or copper minerals, which doing that to the earth really isn't good for it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's the thing that I, I kind of don't understand with the with climate change. Yeah. The climate's always changing, but, uh, <clears throat> if, if global cooling happened, would that not be far, far, far worse than global warming? And does anybody propose that, uh, we stop climate change, meaning we stop the earth from getting warmer or colder? Now I know this is a, it sounds like a right-wing talking point or something like, not right-wing, I'm sorry, I'm not, 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 I don't mean right-wing, a Fox News talking point. Um, that, uh, <coughs> God, I said Fox News and now I can't think. Um, God, what Fox News does to people. Shoot, it was right on the tip of my tongue too. 
darn it, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave it there. But um, yeah, so what, uh, what can be, which way would we go? What's better, warmer or colder? I would say warmer. Now, I'm, I'm also Hispanic and Arab upon being Irish, so maybe it's just a genetic thing that I don't like the cold. Um, but, uh, and I live in Chicago. <clears throat> but it seems as if uh, it's a lot worse for human beings when the earth cools. There's less food. Um, oh, here, okay, this was the Fox News thing. If weathermen can't predict, uh, you know, what, you know, next week is going to look like. And uh, last last winter, it was supposed to, it said, last fall, I read stuff and said, un, not unseasonably warm, un, not unseasonably cold, unreasonably cold winter coming up. And last winter was very mild. So, yeah, I mean, that the climate change, yeah, it's always changing. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not for, um, you know, these big, I'm not a capitalist. I'm not for all these, uh, you know, rape to plan to make money. Cause I look around here and I see cornfields and soy fields and I hate it. Um, I won't even take the wheat, quote unquote weeds out of my garden. If they're not blocking my, my, my vegetables or they're not competing with the roots, I leave them there because it's, it's better for all of the animals and insects if they have a variety. And guess what? If you leave those plants there, the rabbits and squirrels actually like those plants better than, you know, your eggplants or tomatoes. Um, so you don't have to spend, a, you know, a bunch of money on marigolds to try to keep the, you know, them away. And also pesticides and herbicides, terrible. But on a positive note and encouragement, I would encourage everyone who owns property, do not have a lawn. Plant something better there. Trees, wild grasses, a garden, a bunch of bushes. Lawns are one of the worst things. And if you cut your grass, keep, put the gra grass clipping somewhere or leave the leaves on top of on top of your lawn. They act as an insulator and they're nutrients that'll go into the soil. But yeah, to Tom Green or even anybody, Tom Green, Hank Green, <laughs> Tom Green would uh, would respond to me with a dead moose. Um, Hank Green, or even anybody who would like to answer me. Um, yeah, global warming and climate change are two very different things. But even on global warming, the globe has to either be warming or cooling, correct? Wouldn't we want it to warm? And aren't, it, aren't we nowhere near the point of like turning into Venus? <coughs> Just some questions. I'm trained in history and archaeology. Um, I also was in the medical field. I'm not a scientist. Um, I guess you could say kind of with biology, but again, you're a scientist. I believe you got in chemistry or whatever. And, um, what I know you're a science guy. So, all right. Peace to you. I don't mean this in any anger or hostility or trying to own you. Um, and responding to me won't, uh, you know, boost my channel or anything or like give me clout. Cause I don't, I, I don't do this for that. This is an honestly asked question, um, from an honest guy who's been doing YouTube since it began. This is just one of my channels because I kept forgetting the passwords for the old ones. And I mainly speak about, you know, my culture um, and uh, my religion that's, you know, minority and kind of persecuted and weird. So I explain people to it about that because I'm Syriac. All right. Peace to you, um, Hank Green. I know you're an atheist, but I, you're still in my prayers because I want you to, uh, I know you're you're in remission, but uh, I'm praying that it stays that way. <laughs> and uh, thank you for all the good, good hours of uh, entertainment. I would love to hear an answer, whether it's in the comments or you want to reply to me. Either one would be fantastic or it. Anyone else, if they, uh, Hank Green fans, I guess, if Hank Green won't, um, his fans, you know, usually pretty smart group of people. I love Sideshow, uh, <laughs> Sideshow and, uh, the PBS Eons and, uh, Blog Brothers. Uh, peace to you, as I end ever, at all, all the time. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland. And I guess those who are in the Donbass right now, peace to you.